Sai Ram, let's begin with three ohms. Oh. Namaste and Sai Ram. I am Shravanti and this is my friend Vishwar. And on behalf of Devas Unlimited and Love Rocks family, we extend a hearty and warm welcome to each and every one of you joining us for this very special Crystal Fiesta today, where we bring to you the love of the Devaloka in the form of Crystal Devas who are waiting to enhance your life and support you in your journey to realize your true divine perfect self. In today's Crystal Fiesta, we are bringing to you a very special edition for Ganesh Chaturthi. So let's first go into what Ganesh Chaturthi is. So Ganesh Chaturthi is, as we know, the biggest Indian festival where we celebrate Lord Ganesha. It is also known as Vinayaka Chaturthi or Vinayaka Chaviti. Now let's talk more about Lord Ganesha. Lord Ganesha is known as the, as the Lord of all obstacles, the Lord of wealth, sciences, knowledge, and wisdom. So as we know, most of us start our day or start any new thing that we start is started with Lord Ganesha. We offer a prayer to him and we start our work. Lord Ganesha is known by 108 different names like Gajanana, Vinayaka, Vignaharta, and so on. The main essence of this Ganesh Chaturthi festival is to purify and set ourselves free from fears, limiting beliefs, or anything else which blocks us from experiencing our true divine selves. For now... That is, that's so beautiful, Vishwar. Yeah. So let me ask you before we go forward, what does Ganesha mean to you? To me, I think Lord Ganesha symbolizes just pure joy. You know, he's wow. just so joyful, right? Like you just when you see him itself, you just feel so joyful and yes. he just this radiate, he just radiates so much of happiness and he yes. tends, like you know to teach us that we also should be happy. What about yes. yourself? For me, Ganesha also I definitely resonate with joy and I also resonate with the eternal divine wisdom oh, that beautiful. And anytime I just feel like I have a question or something, I just close my eyes and I just ask Ganesha. And I imagine a baby Ganesha who's just oh. radiating this joy, just sharing so much of the divine wisdom and through that receiving answers. Wow, beautiful. That's very, very powerful also. Mm -hmm. yes. So shall we now go into what crystals we have today? We have so many crystal devas are waiting to meet us and yes. as you can tell they're all in the form of beautiful gorgeous Ganesha yes and we can't we're so excited to show you these beautiful the cutest Ganeshas such joy filled forms of the Lord yeah so let's without any further delay let's begin so you so the first crystal today we want to show you is the amethyst Ganesha. So amethyst, look at this beautiful, wow. beautifully carved Ganesha on a very, on a very natural, naturally formed amethyst stone. So these are very special uh, 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 crystals we have. See how beautiful they are. So amethyst, especially, is an excellent crystal for meditation. It will help you calm and soothes your mind and restores balance within yourself. So in these times when 
one is feeling blocked and is feeling mentally clumsy or lethargic and amethyst ganesha can help you refine your thinking process and and he also just helps you go into meditation very easily by calming the mind so somewhere the attachment to the mind and all the ups and downs and everything that goes on with it are no longer controlling you so that powerful uh, that's how powerful amit amethyst is and this ganesha can also be a very good crystal for hyperactive children and ganesha is bringing wisdom comfort to those even who grieve the loss of a loved one or a relationship so and also in terms of health amethyst will help you is good for healing back aches and headaches so what else are you waiting for if you're feeling any of these forms of ganesha appealing to you go ahead and place your orders now because it is ganesha calling out to you so go ahead and place your orders wow 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 like this how how beautiful right this amethyst ganesha so this so and I, especially in the natural form my goodness yes yes beautiful I've never seen any crystals like yeah, this anywhere else. Same, yes, same, yeah. these really are very special. Beautiful, beautiful. So let's now move on to the next Ganesha that we have. So we have a few. So this, so as we go on, you'd be like, wow, 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 each time. Yes. So the next one is a green adventure in Ganesha. as you can see here we have a beautiful green avenger in ganesha and uh, how cute they are no they are extremely adorable and they come of course as green avenger is they come in the color green so what does green symbolize it symbolizes healing so green avenger in heals our hearts and it serves as an emotional anchor that you know that we would need during like upheavals or even to feel stable and grounded so the result of all of this is an overall good health so it helps you you know with your physical health with your emotional health and even your spiritual health it is an excellent stone also to connect with the nature devas so if you are someone looking to enhance your connection with the nature devas what better way than to use the green avenger in ganesha to help you and you know it's a two in one right you have yes. the green avenger in to also remove any blocks and obstacles that are coming in the way of making the connection how beautiful right yes and the form of ganesha himself is yeah. just in so much in oneness with nature exactly. exactly exactly so what more can you ask for yeah it's like a bomb of you know healing energy exactly beautiful so beautiful and how beautifully is, is the form carved yeah um, it's crystal so beautiful guys you need to get one green avenger in ganesha yeah so the next crystal that we will look at is a clear quartz ganesha you've seen this form in the beginning of the event so see how beautifully glowing is ganesha on the wow look at that look at the radiance we don't even have to try to strain our eyes to you know it's just yes. so evident the radiance of this uh this crystal and the form so clear quartz is actually a very the most versatile and multidimensional crystal in and it's a beautiful crystal to enhance spiritual awareness and it intensifies your awakening and it's amazing for healing meditation and even communication with masters and spiritual guides and even with the angelic realm with the realm of nature and plants uh, and animals as well and clear quartz is beautiful to amplify the positive energy or any intention that it is programmed to so you can program it to an intention of health of joy of anything that you deeply seek at this point you can 
tuned uh, your crystal deva to uh, you know ask the crystal deva to work for you uh, to help you amplify that intention and a beautiful way to set our intentions is to write down an intention and put it right under the crystal and allow the deva to work uh, work things out in your highest and best and clear quartz is also uh, ideal to be soaked in water that is used for drinking and cooking and bathing so as you can keep the ganesha uh, form at the altar you can keep him at your desk you can keep him anywhere um, in you know in your house where you feel you know um, best you can connect more easily so just follow your heart and go ahead and place your orders for ganesha uh, in this beautiful radiant form of clear quartz Mish, do you want to tell us something about Ganesha being the presiding deity of the Mooladhara Chakra? Oh yes. So I think we all know that uh, we have seven major chakras, right? And each chakra has a presiding deity. And for the Mooladhara or the root chakra, the presiding deity is of course Lord Ganesha. So Lord Ganesha removes all obstacles and he grounds us. And um, all you have to do is when you invoke Lord Ganesha, what happens is you're also grounding and you're strengthening your root chakra. How beautiful, right? How many yes. benefits Lord Ganesha brings to us and how much he grounds us and, you know, helps us stay rooted on the journey. Yes. Right? And also for many seekers in the spiritual path, uh, it so tends to be that the lower chakra Cross, they usually blocked with fears yes. and traumas and things that need to be cleared and just worshipping God, Lord Ganesha can be so powerful to clear these blocks and you don't even have to think about it. Yeah. All you have to do is, you know, just meditate on the form and awaken that, you know, the Shakti, the form of Ganesha within yourself because you are no different from him. You're no different. So this, the, the devas are here, uh, Lord Ganesha, in the form of crystal devas is here to help you awaken to the truth that you know different from even Lord Ganesha. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. That's so true. Yeah. So now let's move on to our next uh, crystal Ganesha. This is a very beautiful jade crystal Ganesha. Let's move on to our next Ganesha, a beautiful crystal jade Ganesha. So we, uh, I have a couple of jade Ganeshas. I can never get oh, enough really? of wow. jade. Yes. Beautiful. And just remind, I just realized that I got so many jade Ganeshas. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Jade is a very beautiful crystal. Yeah, and look at how gorgeous he looks. In this wow. wow, wow, Shra, we must be enjoying your eyes, must be feasting every time. Yes, wow, absolutely, that's beautiful. So, now let's look a little deeper into the properties of the jade, right? So, the jade is known as the dream stone. So, uh, the jade deva he brings us realization of our true potential and helps us devote ourselves to our life purpose, right. And he also helps to release any suppressed emotions through dreams. So a jade crystal is a very good crystal to help you with dreams, right? And it improves your health and it opens your heart. So what better crystal to help you, especially if you're looking to get some dream guidance, this is your go-to crystal. Just get a jade Ganesha, keep him next to you or keep him in your um, puja room. And, uh, you know, use the Ganesha well to help you with your dream guidance as well. And if you're looking for any healing, if you're looking to heal your heart, again, the Jade Ganesha will help you with that. So, yes, absolutely. Sha, why don't you tell us how has the Jade Ganesha helped you? So, uh, Jade, uh, this, the Jade Ganesha, every time I... 
he looked at him as a in front of him i just feel that so much of my emotional energy that may be pent up and very un- so unconscious to how um to what all emotions are going on and it's very difficult to keep track of it Yeah. but whenever you know there are too many negative emotions or too many unresolved emotions it's so important to you know just take that pause and to you know embrace and acknowledge and you know just uh, allow the emotions to even you know, go through their cycle mm. but at the same time uh, ganesha the jade form of ganesha helps us realize that even emotions are a part of your divine self are very much your you know an expression of your divinity as well so so it's so important to love ourselves through all of it yeah so to understand because every emotion is pointing to something that that's deeper that you know that you're not looking at so to not feel afraid of emotions to help us lead show us the truth about situations about life about people about ourselves so i so in that way uh, jade ganesha can be uh you know very very helpful for people who are struggling emotionally yeah definitely right? that, that's when and if someone to... has gone through emotional neglect in their life it can be very useful so it's very very beautiful and i just feel like J- uh, ganesha is like a, just a companion you know more than a god or putting up him up on a pedestal or anything it's just you know like so much a friend a companion a brother you know to, someone who is you know leading me very easily on the path without me struggling too much yeah yeah very so uh, yes so so we can worship ganesha you can do uh, you know puja you can you know just focus on the form and chant the bijakshara lam yeah is that correct vishal yeah right so we can you can chant either three times or nine times 11 times or 21 times so you can just focus on your mooladhara have uh, the form of anisha with you and just do that uh, you know just chant that wish do you want to take us through that shall we do it once sure let's then let's quick, very quickly bring our attention to our root chakra and you can see it you know in this red it's you know like a red ball of light you know spinning in a clockwise direction and just bring this focus there and with the intention of invoking lord ganesha to strengthen and energize this chakra and let's chant lam nine times lam 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 whenever you're ready slowly come back wow that felt so refreshing i can't even right can't even explain to you so quickly uh the energy gets cleared if there's any blocks if there's anything so you can do a meditation like this you can even chant the one or eight names of ganesha and worship uh, the deva and you can even you can even just uh, hold the ganesha in your hand and just meditate on the form close your eyes and just meditate on the form and that and actually you sadhana is 
that simple so you don't have to do anything grand and complicated you just have to focus on the joy the love that you experience bhaga is everything yeah exactly so shall we go on to the next crystal yes who do we have so next we have the labradorite ganesha oh wow. i'm just so excited wow wow this is such a special form of ganesha so if you see that this ganesha is not exactly you know st- standing straight right mm-hmm. so and yes so it's a very special form of uh, and it, it's carved on a stone again like we've seen the amethyst as well so this is yeah it's a sleeping ganesha yeah so how beautiful and how rare is that and look at the glow of the labradorite uh, fire on this form of the lord yeah. so beautiful labradorite is actually a stone that brings uh, it's a stone of the third eye mm-hmm. and it brings great clarity of inner sight and also brings inner strength i have experienced labradorite labradorite uh, clears out clears out any negative uh, uh, you know any negativity in your circle in your consciousness very quickly if there are people who you are finding difficult to draw boundaries with and uh, you know that it requires inner strength you know and so uh, labradorite gives you that strength labradorite will help you clear those uh, you know those uh, any negative effects of relationships of experiences environments just very powerfully clears it and it also helps you in the process of transformation and changing and enhancing feelings of inner worth so that is so powerful and it's a very very essential step in revealing the truth behind illusions mm-hmm. around us so and at the physical level labradorite also helps with disorders of the eyes and brain mm. so how beautiful just uh, you know it's such a powerful crystal and it's very powerful i really have you know i just fall short of words whenever i look at the form look at the fire on the diva ah uh, so beautiful the colors are just it, it's like a really like a magic yeah. picture you know yes it's like a beautiful shine that yeah. you know of different colors that you see yeah absolutely this is a must have it labradorite is a must have for everyone and you can never have enough forms of ganesha lord ganesha with you yeah so go ahead what are you waiting for go ahead place your orders now you know let's bring yes. ganesha home this ganesh to yes what magnificent forms we have right yes wow. yes it's absolutely gorgeous yes and we have a 5% off on all the crystals that you're seeing here today so what more do you want go ahead and place your orders Yeah. and gift someone a ganesha as well you know someone yeah. who might need it and hasn't even you know probably see, is not even watching this and you know that you know you can just send someone a gift of this yeah. beautiful form of the lord yeah. so now let's move on to our next uh, ganesha and this is another crowd favorite it's the lapis lazuli ganesha right yes there you can see him you know in his absolutely gorgeous blue form this is the lapis lazuli ganesha just can we just take a moment to appreciate how beautiful this is and you know it's just when you look at him you're like wow you know everything just feels so you feel so centered right you just feel very it just brings you to that absolute stillness and let's now take a look at uh, lord ganesha in the form of lapis lazuli he helps us with universal wisdom and truth right he helps to expand our psychic abilities our inner vision and of course this is the crystal that works with your third eye so if you're looking to work with your third eye if you're looking to awaken your inner vision this is the best crystal the lapis is the best crystal to to use 
And what more? It also promotes self-awareness and it helps you attune with your intuitive self. And it also encourages you to be more honest about yourself in life, right? It, it helps you develop compassion and uprightness. And it is the stone of wisdom and it helps you with good judgment, intellectual ability and new ideas. So this is an all-rounded Ganesha that helps you with your intuition. It helps you with your inner vision. It helps you in so many ways. And he just wants to help you be true to yourself and to allow the compassion in your heart to come forth. A very beautiful, beautiful Ganesha that, you know, it's definitely a must-have, I would say. Right, Chelsea? Beautiful. I'm actually so spellbound by the Ganesha. Yeah. Uh, in lapis lazuli form, Ganesha is just everything that you need right now. You yes, know? exactly. Right? And it's, it's, uh, it's all the wisdom, the, you know, the, the aspect of divine, eternal divine wisdom, which I was talking about initially. Exactly. Yeah. I can completely resonate with that aspect through this uh, yeah. crystal diva. So beautiful. Yeah. So let's move on to the next crystal, mm -hmm. uh, the rose quartz Ganesha. Oh, wow. Now, this is the aspect that resonates with you, Vishwar. Yeah. Where you were talking about, <laughs> you know, the rose quartz Ganesha as a form of unconditional love and joy. Yeah. So the rose quartz Ganesha brings about heart healing and opens the heart to love on all levels and all centers of energy on in within yourself and it nurtures self-love which is so so essential for us you know on the spiritual path or just 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 simply because you exist just mm -hmm. to realize that you're so loved you're lovable that you are loved verily in every way so what more do you need than a rose quartz ganesha to just fill your homes and your lives with love you know, and all your relationships, all aspects of your life are filled with love. I have seen that whenever someone has uh, in my circle, my friends or cousins, whoever got Rose Quartz home, uh, they have got a, either a promotion or whatever they've been trying for, uh, have been waiting for, have just, just opened. You know, just it's like, and they are just much more joyful and easily, you know, happy. I have a friend who was going through depression for quite a few years and uh, I just felt like you know I just felt like very limited in how much I could help her so mm -hmm. I sent her a beautiful rose quartz Ganesha uh -huh. and uh, I completely forgot about it and the next time I met her she said Shrandi for the first time in my life ever since uh, you know rose quartz has come home I have been able to wake up in the morning and start wow. doing things for myself. And her perspective about all the situations also shifted from being a victim to being in control of her situations. Wow. So wow. whatever she was feeling that she was a victim to, she turned around and she said, no, I'm in charge. You know, how can something make me feel so bad about myself or anything? So she just took charge of her life and she's a totally different person today. That is so beautiful. And this is a, yeah, it's a beautiful testimony of, you know, how, how powerful crystal devas are. And especially, uh, you know, the form of Ganesha. Yeah. And so rose quartz helps you or even, you know, uh, dissolution, uh, dis in the dissolution of anger, fear, resentment, suspicion, all of which blocks you from just living happily and free in your life and it brings light of healing and it rekindles hope and faith in your life and in the goodness of the life and creation so how beautiful is this form of Ganesha uh, I mean, look guys yes just tell us you're feeling that love right now yeah. you know there's you without even just trying you just feel it you'll just feel the spark of joy in your heart just you just feel it's just that spark of you know, hope and faith and just divinity. So guys, go ahead and get bring home this beautiful Ganesha today. So beautiful, Shrav. I mean, from your experience, I'm just learning how he helps you to love yourself. 
he brings that, uh, that unconditional love for yourself he awakens that for you and i mean what better crystal than the rose quartz for that right yes yes, yes. yeah so divine so beautiful yes yes yeah. now let's go on to the next one which is a very nice tiger's eye connection wow tiger's eye is so beautiful yeah it's a beautiful crystal it was one of my first crystals oh really yes okay wow absolutely gorgeous huh absolutely so my tiger's eye crystal uh, the first crystal was tiger's eye and then helped me feel so uh, i used to feel very uh, afraid of you know uh, putting myself out there and you know just right. going out sometimes you know and whenever i put on the crystal i realized that i wasn't even thinking of those fears correct yeah. you know and over time i even forgot that i had an apprehension of that sort oh, wow the tiger's eye is very very beautiful for inner strength Yeah, Isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yes, I I would say. I mean, my tiger's eye mala. I feel really helps me with that, right? Yes. Especially yes. when you feel like you know you you know you're so you know when you don't want to put yourself there, but you know you have to. And yeah. this crystal yes. ever comes in and like, okay, come, let's just run the show. You know. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> That's a beautiful way to put it. Yeah. So he really, you know, he helps us improve, you know, our connection with our personal power, like you were just sharing. and you know he just strengthens our resolve and you know it enriches he enriches our insight reduces stubbornness and of course like we said self confidence that is the basis right self confidence yes. is the basis for everything and yes. with the tiger's eye ganesha when we build on our self confidence everything falls in place yes so if you see this is such a beautiful way in which ganesha is working on your lower chakras you yes. know which is related to security safety exactly. uh, you know abundance so this when you release your fears and when you release anything that's blocking you from just putting yourself out there expressing yeah. your truth expressing yourself so ganesha can is so beautifully helping us with clear those blocks so that we can just rise above you know rise above all of this and just you know serve the real purpose we are here for rise above and conquer so okay. yes absolutely yeah. <laughs> wow yeah i love the shine on uh, exactly the right. tiger side i'm just yes. admiring that yes so beautiful guys go ahead and place your orders now how beautiful are these forms of ganesha just so full of joy and strength and you know abundance of everything that you need of love yeah i think it's the solution to all your problems exactly yeah so let's now move on to the you know another special form of ganesha the yellow aventurine ganesha oh okay oh wow, wow. yes wow. i have a very cute small yellow aventure in ganesha and i i was gifted uh, this one on friendship day <laughs> oh beautiful yes and what what a beautiful way to you know yeah uh, have ganesha receive you know even discover how beautiful the form is so that uh, the yellow aventure in ganesha was my first ganesha Oh, uh, it on friendship day. Yes. Okay. So that was the start of. Uh, so guys, you can gift, you know, gift a Ganesha to someone to open their heart to how beautiful uh, this form of, you know, God helps us. Yeah. So uh, eventually, it actually heals um, the heart and serves as an emotional anchor that is needed to uh, during upheavals or and when you need to ground and stabilize yourself. yeah and just like uh, you know and this gane this form helps you in uh, for the solar plexus chakra mm-hmm. so which is the which is right it, it, it at at your solar plexus area and this uh, is very good to 
is good for health and it's also good once again to connect with the nature devas and how beautiful is this form of ganesha yeah, look how intricately yeah you know the carving is front and back guys if, guys so this this is yellow aventurine and aventurine whether it's green yellow is a must have uh in you know in your collection of crystals so all each of these crystal devas uh in the form of lord ganesha are actually helping you as you see that in many many aspects of your life mm-hmm. so you don't have to worry about uh you know depending on people you know who can't help you with you know resolving these issues or anything you know you don't you can just be so self sufficient just connecting with the crystal devas and just nurturing these aspects in yourself and ganesha will bring to you the right people in your life who will help you advance in your journey the right people the right opportunities the right environments so clearing out anything that's blocking you and all you have to do is just ask for that help yeah. and the first step for uh, in asking for help is placing your orders for ganeshas and bringing whichever ganesha has called out to you today home so guys remember there's a 5% discount on all these ganeshas so remember to claim your discount and order these beautiful forms of ganesha home all these beautiful enchanting forms of ganesha absolutely enchanting yes yeah. and just like this glued to the screen yeah <laughs> and look at it all the time this yes and what better yes. time now right let's we approach yes. the festivity this is the best yes. time to invite this energy to your yes home. yes okay. and our team and our team will quickly send your orders wherever you are in the world so go ahead and place your orders and our e-commerce team is already waiting to you know pack them up and send them to you very quickly on priority yeah absolutely so so thank you for joining us today and we all on behalf of the love rocks team at devas unlimited wish you a very 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 happy ganesh chaturthi we hope this ganesh chaturthi awakens you to, to the truth of your divinity frees you from anything which blocks you from realizing this truth and we wish you eternal bliss and love always so thank you for joining us let's end today's session with Om Shri Shanti. Oh, Shanti, 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 He, Samastha Loka, Sukhino Bhavantu, Samastha Loka, Sukhino Bhavantu, समस्त लोक सुखिनो भवन्तु ओ शांति 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 हे साईराम साईराम